Coming up on this bittersweet episode of Infected. Revision 3 and Dig co-founder Jay Adelson spills the beans on how he became an internet billionaire. Plus, a Scottish kid uses the power of internet to determine the world's best swear word. And America mourns for the game. Roll up a gym towel and prepare to smack the ass of internet culture. It's infected. 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 Hello and welcome to Infected, the show that has spent so much time exploring the darkest crevices of online culture that it has become blind and translucent. I'm Internet's Martin Sargent. Okay, first off, uh, a little bit of housekeeping. Gator is dead. Now, uh, I know you all out there watching expect me to tell you some crazy outlandish story about how he died, you know, a fiery truck wreck, something like that, but the truth of the matter is uh, Gator died peacefully in his home in uh, Gainesville, Florida, in his sleep, surrounded by family and friends. Um, He's survived by his cousins, Timmy One and Timmy Two, his Aunt Dixie and dear friends, Ricky Kang and Starving Crow, and in lieu of flowers, you're asked to make donations to the Lake Okeechobee Sawgrass Remo- Removal Project. Uh, Gator would have wanted it that way because, as he told me before he passed, it's been fucking up the largemouth. Okay, then, uh, enough of that. Uh, filling in for Gator, because he passed away, my oh. boss, the founder of Revision 3 and Dig, here he is, everyone, Jay Adelson. How are you doing, Jay? Yeah, it's a Great to have it's you here on the Sarge couch in the new Sarge shack up here in San Francisco, California. Mm, mm, it's a pleasure to be here, Mr. Sargent. Is it? It's a great honor to have you. It's, not just because I'm trying to suck up to the big boss. No, no, no. And, and, you know, and I'm not, while I'm not the actual founder, we know who he is, the actual founder. Prager? Uh, Prager, of course. <laughs> you know, um, it, 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 as your boss or your boss's boss. Uh-huh. It, it, it's always been a, a Who is dream my of, boss? I don't actually know who your boss is. It's not that louder back chump, is it? I don't think it's louder back. It better not be because I don't have any respect for that I think Prager's your boss. Actually. Is Prager your is boss? Is Prager? It could be. It could very well be. Anyway, it has absolutely been my fantasy, fantasy, to be here with you. Ever I since have, I've been a fan of yours since the old, old ancient it's, days. It's really remarkable. I mean, the stars were in some perfect alignment. Somehow, someone in a position of power, namely mm. Jay Adelson, started this online television network, and he actually likes me. I do. Nobody else likes me. I, I do. I mean, the two of you watching this show, maybe you like me, probably not. And you all my friends are fans, too. We're all fans. We love you. In fact, we watch every episode so, religiously. So, I wanted to ask you this right off the bat. What is your favorite Revision 3 show? Mm, uh, infected, of course. No, seriously, it is? Actually, it's Web Drifter. There you go. <laughs> That's my man. That's my man. There's no question about it. I mean, no, hands seriously, down. seriously, though, right? It's certainly not Dignation. That show's kind of lame, isn't yeah, you know, it? Well, it's tired. I mean, you see it's 200 old. episodes of two guys getting drunk on the couch. Where's the humor in that, I asked you. All right, moving on. All right, let's, let's get down to brass tacks. I mean, am I going to get rich off this racket or not? Because I gave up a whole glamorous lifestyle down in Hollywood, the that's Stardust right. Rodeo, the Big Glitter Bowl, to move up to this, this podunk town in San Francisco mm. because you promised me that this Revision 3 outfit was going Your somewhere. Your stock in this company will be worth billions. All, all seven of my shares? That's right. Okay, I mean, what, what is this, Berk, Berkshire Hathaway? Hey, man, you got These in on the ground really- floor. Listen to me, man. I'm not just... Joey's got more shares than I do. It's, you know, it might be true. Joey might actually I, He does. Shares. It's, it's. I'm getting screwed, man. It, it's, well, listen. You guys weren't supposed to talk to each other about what your, you know, your shares were. Now well, you screwed everything. You know, up. Joey's got a drinking problem. Yeah. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah, no Die! 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 <laughs> the point being, <laughs> you will be rich off of this wonderful endeavor. So, I mean, if people don't even know who you are, I should probably give a little bit of introduction because they'll be like, where the hell is Gator? Well, Gator's dead, but why are you here well, I cannot, and not Jack Black I, or I some of the people might Gator actually want to see? Well, you are, in fact, this, this internet phenom. You started these highly successful companies. Dig is doing great. Everyone's on Dig. It's one of the top 100 websites out there. You like that place? Everyone is throwing venture capital money at you. People want to buy you. I heard you turned down an offer for like $5 billion from Rupert, Bur- billion. Yeah, Rupert no. Murdoch. No, is that right? No. 
And now Revision 3, that's doing pretty well, too. Here's a question, though. Kevin Rose, this guy that you've sort of latched on to. Yeah, don't and, totally and, exploit him yeah, for my I mean, own personal gain. Yeah, you're of this kid. My own personal gain. And, and now you're even mm -hmm. trying to, like, dress like him. And that's everything. right. You know, you got your hair cut. You're way too old to be looking like this, first yes, of all, indeed. let me tell you. Yeah. But he started this new company called Pounce. Pounce. Share stuff with your friends. Now, are you involved with Pounce? And yep. if not, why are you not? I'm a user of Pounce. Yeah. I don't actually know what to do with it. I don't either. I can't. But but it's thing but out. it's pretty. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty website. It's because it was coded by a girl. Well, you know, I I don't know. Uh, Daniel Burka is kind of kind of feminine. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Daniel. I love you. I, love I don't Daniel. think Daniel watches this show. I no, no, it. no. It's all good, man. It's it's a beautiful site. I mean, look, I, I log in there and I see like famous people, you know, using that site. Like who? Me? I don't know. I like you. Either. Well, John Battelle, folks like that. Who's you know? that? I don't know. It doesn't matter. No, seriously, who's John Battelle? He invented Wired Magazine. Wired? Okay, see, maybe that's a famous person to in you my up world, here in San Francisco. In my world. I guarantee you, none of us Hollywood people know famous. who the fuck John Battelle is. Oh, well, he's a cool guy. Yeah, I'll bet. Anyway, a lot of people watching this show right now, they don't want to hear about this mindless banter. They're looking at you and they're saying, okay, here's this internet billionaire sitting on the couch of the Sarge Shack. How can I, too, how can I, too, dupe everyone into giving me billions of dollars? Ah, yes. How can I start my own web company? Can you, can you give us sort of a succinct answer? I mean, what, sure. what does it take? What does it take to, to, be, uh, to be you? Well, the key is you have to know how to fool investors yes. into investing in your business. I mean, look, it doesn't matter if your business plan are good or, is good or bad. I've seen behind the curtain on the yeah, Revision it, 3 business plan. Look, look, man, it doesn't matter <laughs> if it's good or bad. You've got to convince them that what you're going to do is revolutionize uh -huh. the world. Now, if you could do that, if you could sell it, the way you sell your, your millions of fans who watch this show, you too could be an internet billionaire. So if the VCs are watching right now, mm. and basically we just sort of expose the fact that this is a whole bunch of bullshit. Yeah, this revision of course three, it is. Can they take the money back, or is it like already? Actually, they can. So let me oh. explain. Revision 3 Kelly. is a very solid, Jordan, conservative business plan. Out, okay? Anyway, um, because you're here, yeah. I prepared a little game for you. I'm scared. It's a new game. It's called CEO, CTO, or DUI. Ah. Now, here's the reason I prepared this game, because you're obviously a CEO. Uh -huh. You're CEO of a couple companies now, mm. right? Mm -hmm. You were the CTO That's correct. of a company called Equinix, which, if you guys know what that is, it's like a data processing... Ah, Jesus. Don't, don't drop your laptop. You'll have to buy me a new one if I do. Uh, it's a data center for the internet. Essentially, it's like an airport for the internet. If, if Equinix went down, the whole internet would go down. That right? is correct. Isn't that right? Yes. And uh, you've also gotten a DUI. Or you've been pulled over for a DUI. <laughs> this is wonderful. I've been pulled <laughs> over, but it wasn't my... It wasn't for me that I was pulled over. Oh, who was it for? You were up at that big O'Reilly thing. What are they Well, call I was it driving. That? I was the, the, the food camp. camp. The, the food camp. camp. This yeah, is this right. is an event up in up north of San Francisco for people who are really important yeah. internet nerds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what there, happened? You well, what guys happened were was, drinking at this thing. Well, now I, I I can't drink much, Martin. I'm not allowed to drink much. Yeah. You know, it's uh, on account of all my you know ancient old person stuff. But uh, <laughs> the person I was with at the food camp was drinking quite a bit. Now, we don't know who that person was, no, but let's just but say... No, but another founder... Another, in fact, you may have founded a couple of highly successful internet companies with this person. It's possible. It's and possible. And it ain't Alex Albrecht. And it's... Well, no. Because he ain't done shit. Well, but, also, he wouldn't drive around with me at night like that. No. You know? No. So we were driving around Sebastopol late at night. Mm-hmm. You know, and north we were here, looking yeah. for a pizza. Looking for a pizza. And, uh, well, we got, we got pulled over. It's true. And when the guy came to, uh, you know, because I did a legal U-turn or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the cop pulls me over and unrolls the window. And, and this passenger who was with me was so just uh, just covered with alcohol. It was, it was fucked up. That the waves of alcohol just went out the window and I had to do a sobriety test. <laughs> now, I blew into one of those things, you know, and it was zero. And the, and the guy was totally astounded. The cop was like, there's no way. There's no way that you weren't drunk with the amount of alcohol that I smelled coming out of that car. And I'm like, well, it's actually my, my passenger. He goes, you should get him to a hospital immediately. Yeah. You know? And then when I got in the car, he said he would have run if it was another yeah, five Yeah, this, this passenger who, who, I'm uh, not, who remained nameless. Someone who remained nameless. You know, I'll, I'll tell you, it was that fucking... 
piece of shit asshole that I hate, Kevin Rose. That's mm. who it was. Yeah, he just had a couple beers. I'm, that's all. He just had a couple beers. I am so mad at that kid. Why are you he so was mad? My protege, Jay. Why are I you mad? Him everything he knows. That Look, was an internet building. Do you know? You know what though? He talks about you all the time with such love. Yeah, whatever. He loves you so much. Let's just play he said, the game. He said to me the other day, he said, you know what? If it weren't for Martin, I wouldn't have thought of these ideas like Dig and all that. Well, where's my stock options then, man? Uh, you know, he I said, get nothing. He said, whatever you do, don't tell him that, though, because we he's going to want we, we went out for an omelet the other morning, uh, and I had to pay. You know, that's ridiculous. Pay. Internet billionaire that he is. Let's play the game. Okay. Let's play the game. Here's how it works. I'm going to show you a picture. Okay. You need to tell me if the person in that picture is a CEO. Got it. A CTO. All right. Or someone who's just been arrested for a DUI. Got it. Okay. Okay. You should know because you've done all these things. So okay. understand the rules. Good. <laughs> then here is your first photo. Oh, is my goodness. That a CEO, a CTO, or a DUI? Oh, let me look. Let's see. He's got the, uh, you know, the floral shirt on, which means he's a partier, you see. But the glasses, they're very CTO-like, you know. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say DUI. Judges? No, I'm sorry. You should have gone with the instinct. That is a CTO. That's uh, John Godwin. He's the CTO of Movie Oh, Wing. man, I should have known that. But he probably should have been arrested for stealing out of the closet of Real Laporte. How did he find a shirt like that unless he's a partier? Here's your next one. Oh. Is that a CEO, a CTO, or a DUI? Okay, now, I would say CEO because, you know, he's got the gray hair and he has that CEO look. But, you know, as I'm looking with the books behind him and everything, but he also seems like one of those kind of corrupt guys that after work goes and he just drinks tons of scotch. Do you overthink your business plans this much that's, too? That's what I think. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, because I think there's a trick question, DUI. Thanks for DUI. Judges? No, I'm sorry. That is, in fact, a CEO. <laughs> that is Joe Moeller, CEO of Georgia <laughs> Pacific. It's one of the world's leading manufacturers and marketers of tissue, packaging, paper, pulp, and building Man. products and related chemicals. So what you're saying is I should have gone with my first I instinct. I think you might understand how the game is played at this point. Okay, okay, okay. You ready for your next photo? Yes. Let's take a look. All right. Is this a CEO, a CTO, or a DUI? Um... Looking at his face, I don't know. I think, again, this is a trick question. I believe that's Kevin Rose, actually. <laughs> kind of, that's pretty much how Kevin looked at it. Yeah, and I bet he smells a lot like yeah, Kevin Rose, too. I need an answer. Okay, I'm going to have to go with DUI. That, yes, that's correct. That is Marlon Morales. He was arrested for DUI and a range of other offenses. Is he someone you know? A friend of yours? Uh, he was a cellmate. Yes. Okay, there you go. Next one. How about this? You're one for three. Who is that? <laughs> Um, I'm not coming up with my hand where it says that I need to tell me who and what he is. Well, I'm just going to take a wild guess. Out. I guess I'll wild, leave it in now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a wild guess. I'm going to say that uh, Mr. Oliver is the CTO. That's right. That's Andrew Oliver. How do you know his name? He's the CTO of Blitz Games. Here's your next one. Who is that? CTO, CEO, or DUI? Okay, you see that smile? Yeah. It's curly white. Uh-huh. He's the CEO. That is correct! That is Clinton Harris Sr. He's the CEO right? of Chippin' Records. Am I right? Records. I am right. And from what I glean, he is also the only employee of Chippin' Save <laughs> Records. Though they do publish such hot acts as Nico, Ida B. Knight, and most importantly, Damien, who you may remember from the classic, 19, uh, the classic album, 1996. Oh, 1996. No it kind of looks a little bit like Eddie Murphy and yeah, coming, coming it, it, to America. Yeah, it kind of looks... Right? Or was it coming to America? It, no. It, it looks like something that Chappelle was trying to emulate. Something like in a sexual chocolate? Remember that? 1996. Oh, that is just crazy. Quit Do you have that? Can we play that on the show when you can post-production? Yes. Can All right. Well, let's get on to your final photo. Okay. There he is. CEO, CTO, or DUI. Okay. Now... Normally, I'd say, looks like he's put on a lot of calories, right? But he looks like 90% of the CTOs I see. So oh, I'm yeah. going to go with CTO. No, I'm sorry! Oh. That is a DUI, although he's easily confused with Van McGarrett's father, <laughs> Phil McGarrett. However, that is a DUI. The amazing thing is, how many drinks did that fat fuck have to have? <laughs> before he blew over. That's really amazing. That's impressive. You didn't do very well. No, I'm sorry. Stick to business models, my friend, because you are no good at the game. Well, you know, racket. and does that say anything about my ability to choose employees? <laughs> <laughs> 
What does that say about my ability? I, I don't think we need the game that we just played to tell everyone that I was probably a bad hire. Ah, oh, <laughs> probably yeah. a bad hire. Uh, you only got one out of five, but you're still going to win our prize. Do I have a prize? Where is it? Joey, give me the prize. It's right there. I you are going to win an autographed copy of Alex Chu's groundbreaking work, uh, Alex Chu, The Event of the Immortality Ranks. That is Super I Ching, the most powerful language of God. Look at that. Read it. Look, it has Alex Chu on the back, too. Stare directly into the face of crazy <laughs> and learn the this secrets is, of the universe. This is, this is cool. You know, I don't actually, and look, it is actually signed. It's signed. I, I, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful. And to a you know, loser, you should no look less. up with Alex too. Talk about a business model. Yeah, we could. You we could, could take do that something. immortality ring racket to the next level. And this is complicated. It has math and stuff in it. Yeah, I'm Alex, right. he's a real crackerjack, real sharp kid. Do you think he a could be bang. my CTO? I think he could pretty much do anything he yeah, put he his probably. mind to. All right. Anyway, before we take a break, let's take a quick look at another installment, another exhibit in Martin's Museum of Internet Oddities. Uh, this is from a website out of Holland, hmm. and uh, yeah, let's just take a look at the video and that shows this man's amazing physical gift. That's interesting. Yeah, what do you think of that? Lapping, uh, lapping away there. Now, is that, a, is that a talent or is that a that, curse? That is, um, <laughs> I think you look at that and you say, how are there people out there who do not believe in God? Well, I mean, the first thing I think of is, you know, because that's a reasonably old guy, you know. When he was a kid, could he do that too? And, and if he did, One should hope. did he get dates that way? Well, I, you know, it's funny you mentioned dates because I think that I have found on Internet the perfect mate for that guy. <laughs> and it's this woman. And I think you could tell why because that <laughs> tongue would fit very Perfectly. nicely Perfectly. in a part of that person's body. It could wrap around that body several times, actually. Yeah. yeah it's so quite a there time. ain't nothing else that's going to fill that camel toe, that's for sure. <laughs> that's incredible. I think that they're made together like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's time for a break. This show's going really well. I'm really glad that you're on the couch here. <laughs> I'm glad to be here, man. Yeah. Just, yeah I think Fantasy from now on you should stay in the boardroom and not go in front of the camera. Hey, look, but you're yeah. doing a great job. I'm trying my best. Hey, if you guys, by the way, have a suggestion for Martin's Museum of Internet Oddities, we'd love to hear it. Please send your suggestion to martin at revision3.com. Okay, coming up, we'll determine with mathematical precision what is the greatest swear word in the English language. Right after this word from our fucking sponsor. <laughs> Welcome back to Infected. Shit. Fuck. Cock juggling cunt sniffer. What's the greatest swear word in the English language? Well, my next friend is trying to determine just that by building a condorcet voting algorithm and placing it on his site at do you kiss your mother with that mouth dot uk dot co. Is that right? Dot co dot uk. All the way from Glasgow, Scotland, please welcome Simon McKiernan. What's going on, you cock-dodging fist fucker? Uh, usual. Many <laughs> words, many... So, so how, did you, how did you just decide that you needed to determine what the best swear word in the English language is? Where did you get the germ for that idea? Have you never wondered what the best swear word in the English language yeah, is? I haven't. I haven't. Because over here in America, we're not as flowery as you guys. We're like, mm -mm. oh, fuck you, and yeah. you're a dick. That's about as far as it goes. Not the creative culture. No, but you no. guys over there, you, you go crazy, man. You we got derive so many, inspiration from you. Yeah, you guys got so many different things. In fact, mm. I'm looking at your site here, and I don't even know what some of this stuff means up there. And I lived in England for a while. I mean, let, we, let's take a look at the site right now. I'm taking a look at it. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth.co.uk. 
So how it works here, Simon, is I'm given two choices, right? And right now my choices are window liquor or cunt bags. <laughs> so help me out. Which one do you think is the better one, window liquor or cunt bags? Uh, I would go with cunt bags, too. I think too. so, too. So when we pick cunt bags, basically <laughs> what happens is it narrows the field down, right? And the more people that do this, we're going to ultimately narrow it down. And this is what a Condorcet voting algorithm is to what is the best one in the English language. Do I get that right? Is that right? Yeah. And I see you've been replaced with cum monkey and arse hammer. Cum monkey and arse hammer. See, nobody talks like that over here. Arse hammer. What arse the heck hammer. is our arse hammer? The, the, so, uh, uh, the, go ahead. Nobody talks like that over here either. <laughs> do, do you have a favorite swear word? I mean, do you have one that you have your money on that you're hoping is going to win the competition? I like the uh, Hobbit botherer. What is it? Hobbit botherer. Hobbit, Hobbit botherer. Or, or fondler or botherer? Or fatherer. Or <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty That's good. That's not bad. So I have, I have a question, though. So, you know, at DIG, we have all these complicated secret algorithms for Sorwekian theory to make sure it's all, you know, level playing field. So do you have anything like that in your, in your website, too? Uh, it's something that's voted down twice as much. As it gets voted up, I take it away because it's rubbish. Yeah, and does your, I know the name of the site is Do You Kiss Your Mother with That Mouth.co.uk, but does your mother know that you're doing this and does she approve? Please don't tell her. Because okay. you're just, I'm looking at your phone, you're just like a little kid. You shouldn't be talking like no this. No way, man. but that's the thing. They all look young there. I guess so. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But you're of legal drinking age over there. Yeah, so that's different. You're age, an adult. You're an adult. Six, you can drink. Yeah. So, so um, when is the, the, is the project going to finally come to an end? When we finally determine what is the best swear word in the English language? How do you determine when that happens? I don't know. Uh, maybe when the top 10 stops changing. Uh huh. And it becomes consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorwekian theory has now ruled the day. Would you shut up with your. That's. <laughs> That's like the, the nastiest word I've heard in this whole interview, Sorwekian theory. I don't want to hear about that shit. Okay. So, that's pretty great. So how many, how many um, votes are you getting per day? Because it's gotten quite a lot of attention around the internet. Uh, at the peak, I got like 20,000 a day. Hmm. And are, uh, you, are you making good Google ad money off of this? Forty dollars. All right. Fuck yeah. Yeah, man. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's a beer. Well, Simon, we here in the United States sure are proud of what you've accomplished across the great sea, and we thank you so much. Normally, at this point, I would say you are one of my greatest living Americans, but you're not an American. I know you wish you were, but you're not. But you're one of my favorite living Europeans. <laughs> thank you, Simon, for being uninfected. You, you, like you liney drizzle bitch. <laughs> we Take love it you. Take it easy, man. We love you. Thanks so much for being on the show. Good luck with the project. Let us know who wins, all right? You yeah, later. All right. Take care, Simon. That is Simon McKernan. He's the man behind the great internet swear project at Do You Kiss Your Mother With That Mouth .co .uk. That's something. I mean, the, those people, man. Shakespeare. It's, Robert you know, Burns, utter and now creativity. Simon McKernan. Utter creativity. A great tradition, and it just continues on. Anyway, after the break, we're going to have a lovely tribute to our dearly departed friend, the Gator, when Infected continues. Welcome back to Infected. 
Well, it's a sad day here at Infected HQ as we mourn the passing of our dear friend Gator, who passed away peacefully in his hometown of Gainesville, Florida, surrounded by family and friends. So in order to remember the passing of our dear friend, we prepared this moving video eulogy. Gator, I hope that the beers are cold and the waitresses at Denny's loose in the great hereafter. We give you this. We'll miss you, old pal. All right, moving on. Um, so that's all the time that we have for this special Gator's Dad. Oh, but, 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 Martin, Martin, please. What? Come on. Can I just have one story? Jay, we don't have time for just For Gator. For Gator, please. Well, Gator always did enjoy my stories. Oh, thank you. All so right, much. one quick story for Gator. This is the story of Jay, the littlest CEO. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jay who wanted to grow up to be a powerful CEO. Jay was a tiny boy, wire thin and awkward with goofy teeth and ridiculous glasses. The kind of kid that got his ass beaten on the daily, even by the otherwise very peaceful born again Christian girls in his class. It was just something about him. He was so thin and sickly, always whining and wheezing and doing preposterously nerdy stuff that you couldn't help but just plant a fist deep into his solar plexus anytime he came near. I mean, in a word, Jay was a pussy. And that's why he swore that when he grew up, he'd use all of his nerd skills, the math and the computer shit and penchant for spending all his time indoors to start some technology companies and become very rich and powerful. And that's just what Jay did. But he was so weak and useless on his own that he leached off the skills of cool people with actual skills and built companies around them, becoming very successful in the process and even getting his hair cut to look like one of the cool smart people he was leeching off of, even though he was far too old to dress and groom himself that way. And then one day, one of his employees who hosted an amazingly funny internet TV show at his company, Iteration3.com, convinced all the other employees that Jay was useless and that this guy, the universally adored show host, should be in charge. So to avoid any messiness with the board of directors, the show host followed Jay home one night and snuck into his parking garage behind him. And when Jay got out of his car, Martin, I mean, the show host wrapped a piano wire around Jay's scrawny pencil neck and strangled him, barely exerting any effort because Jay was so fucking weak and sickly. And soon, with the show host at the helm, Iteration 3 was sold to Google for $37 billion, and everyone except Jay's grieving family lived happily ever after. The end. And that really is all the time that we have for this special Gator's Dead, and soon Jay episode of Infected. I'd like to thank my friend Simon McKiernan and also Jay Adelson, my boss, for filling in for yeah. Dead Gator. And I'll he, be, did, uh, he did a fine job. I'll be getting a restraining order almost immediately. It's nice not having an HR department where you work. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't still, worry about that kind don't of be shit. surprised. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is Martin Sargent reminding you, don't get ripped by the riptide. We'll see you at the bar. Hey, Mr. Gator. If you've been watching or listening to this episode of Infected, you're definitely infected. We're very sorry that Gator's dead, but we all knew it was coming, right? <laughs> anyway, you're infected. Fuck you.
Infected is written by Martin Sargent, Jay Speedin, and Stuart Engesser. Camera and audio by Jordan Dertinger and Joey Obama Red Hot Ass Dangler Rabier. Edited by Jordan Dertinger. Music by Kevin McLeod. For more, go to sargeworld.com and join us on MySpace and Facebook. Have a suggestion? Log on to our forum at revision3.com. Die! 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 Fix Sarge World! Die!